Hello everyone, welcome to this video. Today I'm going to talk about TerraTest and its relation with Terraform. What it is, pros and cons, and how to test Terraform code with this tool. But first, if this is your first time in the channel, I'll invite you to take a look to the channel's playlist where you will find a lot of free tutorials for AWS, Docker, Jenkins, Terraform, Ansible, SonarCube, and more. Okay, what, what is TerraTest? Let's say that TerraTest is a tool that has a definition for testing uh, Terraform code, and this, is, um, this, this was made in Go language. One of the key requirements, for, for the same reason, is Go. You, you need to have Go installed in your system where you will be running the, the tests. You can take a look on the previous video where I explained you how to install Go in CentOS 7. Another requirement is to have modules. Modules are basically uh, more libraries for Go and, <coughs> sorry, and those can be found in GitHub as well. Okay, we can take a look on my Terraform definition to, to start taking a look on these tests. Here is my uh, project definition, my project structure, and if I go to examples and Terraform code, I can see here, this one, I can have the .tf files. Let's take a look on the main.tf. Here is a very basic uh, main, main file where I am specifying the Terraform version along with these resources the resources that, that I'm going to be using during this demo. Also, let's take a look on the variables. The variables that we are defining here are example, example2, example list, example map, and so on. Also, we set the type for them as a list, a string, a map, and those will be tested. Okay, and finally, the outputs the outputs.tf we are specifying the the information that we will be publishing and getting from the terraform execution here the example well i'm naming this at the same way that the variables because as you can see here we'll be putting the the um, uh, the variable value inside of the output inside to the output so here we have the example, example two, example this, and so on. Okay, if you remember the output is the way that Terraform has to publish the, the information that it's been retrieved during the execution. For instance, the um, easy to name, the easy to IP address, or any resources details, you can have it with the output. Okay, let's take a look now to the actual test. Here you can see that I have a Go file. Okay, and the first thing that we can see is that is um, is calling a package here, a package called test, and also it is importing some libraries directly from GitHub from from public repositories. Then we are defining a function that will be called when we run the test. Here, this test Terraform basic example uh, is what we what we call this this test. We have here this parallel method in case we have a very large test, so we can split on different uh, threads, so we can complete it faster. The key things here, besides all the object definition and object instantiation, are these parts, especially this one, this method, init and apply method. If you are familiar with, te with Terraform, you will recognize those two instructions, init and apply. Those are the very basic instructions for, for Terraform. When you do a Terraform init, it will initialize your environment, it will download all the provider information, and when you do Terraform apply, 
it will start creating all the the resources in the cloud or where you are trying to de to deploy the resources therefore this this method is trying to do the same then basically the the terra test function is to reproduce all the manual steps that we perform manually but in this case automatically in a code so it will do this one and after that it will try to run the outputs to get the actual output from the terraform execution here as you can see we have the example example 2 example list example map which are the same that we saw before in the terraform files and here we go with the testing these asserts are assertions that we need to match from the expected result and the actual result this, these are the, the actual conditions to, to pass our testing ok if I do this I've, I type go test hyphen verbose hyphen run and then the test function name as you remember is test terraform basic example I'm going to run this and let's wait for it to finish so we can check it okay here as you can see the the test uh, has passed which is good and let's take a look on what it is doing here is executing a terraform init is initial initializing the environment after that it runs a terraform apply where as you can see where we're here we can see the two resources will be added this is the standard output for terraform and after that it runs the output the output um, statements or, or the the code that we need to return that we need for retrieving the output uh, the output the output values okay after that it's destroying all the infrastructure that it just deployed in this case only the outputs but it will destroy everything and then it will compare the results and it will um, display the result in this case has passed but what happened if I go here and I change the assert here the expected te text for anything else not expected for instance this is a string if I run this again it should fail let's see what is displaying here is the error okay first thing that we notice here is that the fail uh, the fail text the message here and if scroll up then we can see these error details as you can see this is the string that I put in the go file and this is what is receiving as those doesn't match then it prompts the error okay I can revert my change to expected text if I run this one again it should pass as we as we saw in the beginning here okay then this is the way that you can define your own unit testing for your terraform files so you are you are ensuring that you are deploying a very good code quality and you are performing the best practices for for coding this is all for this video i hope you enjoy it and please subscribe to the channel let me know your comments thanks